Guys, this is insane. Oh my god. Wait, is this a page full of first editions? Bro, come on. This is absolutely unreal. I went back home to visit my parents recently, and I of course went and checked out the Pokey Cave, aka our little nerd dungeon in the basement. R.I.P. video on that later. But I remembered having a binder full of like old school, just rare first edition vintage Pokemon cards. I couldn't find it. I don't know how I misplaced things like that. Tell me how. But guys, I found it. I freaking found it and I am so excited to check it out with you guys today. I haven't even looked through the whole thing. I did check to make sure it was the binder that I remember it being. I'm super eager to share this with you guys. Let me know if you remember having any of these Pokemon cards down in the comment section below. But without further ado, let's get into it. Guys, I'm like low-key kind of nervous. Oh my gosh. I did so I did take a peek at this and I the whole front section is just this like weird chunk of just really cool holographic energies. I won't spend a ton of time on this because I do want to get to the the juicy juicy vintage goodness, but just know that one of my favorite Pokémon items as far as the cards go is the holographic energy. So that's why I have like a whole chunk of these right at the start. I was trying to get a full page of each. Why is there so many, Danny? Oh my god, but at least they're like old school and just like cool random ones. They're not just like basic, you know, boring energy. Oh, <laughs> oh baby, here we go. Oh, so guys, I have recently been rewatching some of my old school Pokemon pack openings and I've seen us pull these and I was like, bro, where did all those reverses go? Look at this. These are all from Legendary Collection, one of the, honestly, in my opinion, the coolest old school Pokemon card set. This set was the first set to introduce reverses and the reverses were like literally the coolest iteration of the reverses they ever made. A Dark Dragonite, oh my God. So we got the Nidoking, we got the Jolteon, Alakazam, Machamp, freaking Nidoqueen, Moltres, dude. Literally all of them on the screen minus this one and this one are all rares. They're all reverse rares from Legendary Collection. If I were to have collected these when I was a wee young lad, the condition of these would be nowhere as good, oh my God, <laughs> nowhere as good as these currently are because I did have proper sleeves for all of them. They're all sleeved up really nice and I took great care of them. Dark Blastoise from Legendary Collection, a Nine Tails holographic, Gyarados, all these are from Legendary Collection. Wow, we got a Nido King from base set and a Blastoise from base set as well. Oh, this one's not even in English. Why are you so handsome? So, pardon me while I lose my mind. Also, I should note that pretty much all of the cards in here are extra cards from my completed sets. So I didn't have a complete set for Legendary Collection. That's why there's so many of those. But all of these cards are actually duplicates from the sets that I already have completed. So this is my second Blastoise. I guess. Hang, dude. What's up, homie? Welcome to the party. So I'm going to go through a lot of these. And like after this, I'm going to look through and see which ones I want to get graded because I'm definitely getting some of these PSA graded. Anyway, we have some Neo ones here. We got a Pichu, Jumpluff. Dude, let me know if you guys remember collecting some of these cards because I, as a kid, I remember getting that Pichu and I was so freaking excited about it. Dude, this Houndoom, that is a beautiful, beautiful Houndoom. Ah, woo. Neo Revelation, everybody. One of the most underrated Neo sets. I feel like that's honestly one of the rarest Neo sets that actually exists. Look at these. Is this a Shadowless? Miha, what is you doing? A Shadowless base set Venusaur. Oh my God. This one is not in mint condition, but it is from, you know, the set that is significantly more rare than unlimited base set. I honestly, I'm not sure why there's this different. The color is so different on those two. It's insane. These ones from Fossil. I don't think I successfully completed the Fossil set. I did do base set Team Rocket and Jungle. I don't think I did fossil. So I think these are my my few fossil cards I have. Doubling down on the nine tails. We also got oh, base set two Zapdos. Rockets Moltres. Misty's Gyarados. Oh my goodness. Another Lapras out of nowhere. Pidgeot. Snorlax. So these are, are a couple of extras from Jungle. That's just a, oh no, that's a Moltres Hollow. 
as well. Very nice, very nice. I like the spice, I like the spice. <gasps> Are you freaking kidding me? Bruh, wait, I just had these sitting around? Oh, I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. I'm not gonna throw up, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm definitely fine. I'm not sure if you are aware <laughs> of what an extremely rare card, not only this is, but that Blastoise as well, but Dark Charizard, first edition from Team Rocket. Oh my God, dude, I double sleeve this too. I pulled this, I pulled this from a booster, I pulled both of these from booster packs. Bro, 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 bro. Wait, I've been sitting here just like not knowing that I had a Pokemon binder with first edition Team Rocket Pokemon cards in it. That is insane. I'm not even gonna lie, that is probably one of the greatest finds of my latter Pokemon career. I am 1000% getting this PSA graded like immediately. Am I shaking? Am I okay? <laughs> oh my god! Yo! Okay, we just hit the tip of the iceberg on this binder. I'm gonna place those back in there, but guys, just know I'm definitely gonna do a video very, very soon. Picking some of these cards to get PSA graded, encapsulated. I just cannot believe that I neglected to remind my future self that I had those. Okay. Dark Slowbro, another Dark Blastoise. That is literally the third Dark Blastoise of this binder. What the hell is going on, dude? So we are getting into territory of Gym Heroes. Once again, I have a Gym Challenge set done. Gym Heroes, I didn't get all the way completed, so I think I just put my extra ones in here. So we have quite a few of the Gym Leaders. We got Erica, we got Giovanni. Uh, Blaine's from Gym Challenge, we have Blaine as well. I really, do Gym, the, the Gym series of Pokemon, and you guys, like let me know what you think about this in the comments I think this was arguably like Easter egg little like addition that they put on top of them being just like a Pokemon card like this one's hit on top but like rocket scyther but like Erica's vile plume like that's significantly cooler than a regular vile plume you can't even compare I remember opening these cards I remember actually physically opening these as a young adult hold on I gotta look at this dark tyranitar dude Copy a glimpse real quick. Oh, that is spicy. These cards are extremely hard to come by and I'm very happy that I did take such good care of them because these, I remember when I pulled them, I immediately put them into a sleeve and I'm assuming they've been living in this binder, you know, off and on I'll, I'll go through and take a look at them, but Dark Crobat, Dark Feraligator, Dark Scizor, all first edition Neo Destiny. We've got a Hitmon top, we've got an Umbreon, and we've got a Sizor. Nearly all of the cards in this binder are holographics. There are, you know, a few sporadically that are regular rares, and that's actually a, a Shadowless Dragonair as well. So that's a rare Dragonair from base set. Shadowless, not first edition, but it is Shadowless. We got a Polyrath. We got a Japanese Sabrina. That Dragonite is probably one of the only first edition fossil cards I have. Kingdra, we got a Celebi. Oh, very cool. So we're getting into Expedition here, the e-reader sets. The style of these, we need to bring this back because I absolutely adored the style of these e-reader cards. And a lot of these packs, like dude, Sky Ridge, Sandstorm, Expedition Base are honestly probably more rare than base set. Bro, <gasps> dude, I'm like reliving my childhood. Oh man, look at this dangerous, dangerous, spicy boy. I don't even know if he's spicy, but he is large and in charge. That is an aggressive Blastoise artwork. These are from a lot of different sets. Love the Team Aqua and Team Magma ones. Very, very cool. You've got your EX Power Keepers. Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay, so right now, see this Charizard, I have to admit, it's not necessarily my favorite Pokemon card, like looks-wise. However, because it is an EX series and because it is a Charizard, I'm willing to bet that this card is worth a lot more than I think it is. <laughs> But once again, this is just for my like personal collection. I'm gonna I'm gonna look up some of these cards and see what the value is and definitely get like a PSA submission going for some of these because they've seriously been just like hanging out in my binder for so long. Some of these cards are just 
like way more rare because of the actual Pokemon it is. For instance, I'm willing to bet if I look up this Rayquaza holographic, it's worth more than like an EX, you know, like an ultra rare card from that same set. Oh, this is kind of fun. We've got a couple different variations here of holographics, reverses. You got this Kingdra in hollow and reverse. Some of these cards, they have the border is very, very holographic. It's like yellow, but also hollow at the same time. And I think that's a really nice touch for these cards. It really makes them stand out. Ah, and in more Pokemon Reverse Land, we are stumbling upon, I seriously, I don't even remember collecting this many. Like I don't remember holding on to this many. And it's funny cause I know I still have like tins and just like, little containers that have even more of these reverse cards in them, but I didn't remember like displaying this many of them in this binder. How freaking cool to look back on. This is kind of like a time capsule. Honestly, this is super nostalgic for me as well. Cause I, once again, this was a lot of the cards that I pulled and a lot of the ones that I traded for in my early days of poke tubing. I'm wondering what ones I traded away, you know, at this rate. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yes! Yo, the Dark Dragonite from EX Team Rocket Returns. Once again, my favorite. Honestly, okay, this is my favorite Pokemon card set of all time. So I feel like I have the right, I mean, I've been geeking out this whole time, but I feel like I have the right to properly geek out about the Dark Dragonite holographic reverse. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Dude, all these reverses look really, really nice. So the pattern on these, one of my favorite parts about the reverses on these is the actual pattern they have with it. A, a lot of the sets had their own unique design. So like Emerald had these Pokeball ones. The EX Team Rocket Returns had, they're kind of like type symbols. You can see like grass and electric and fire. Uh, so that was one of the, the unique things about these. I mean, a lot of the sets do change the holographic pattern, but I feel like currently it's not as sophisticated as these ones were, you know? I feel like it's kind of like, you know, straight line pattern. It's like, you know, generic all over hollow for the reverses. These ones really, they decked it out for sure. Decked it out. All right. That slow poke. I, oh, what a handsome young man. Oh, this is an EX fire red in leaf green slow poke, but it doesn't have the circle in the center like all of the other reverses do. So I am very confused by that. I'm gonna have to look into that and see if that's either an error card or if some of them just didn't have the, the circle Pokeball. The circle Pokeball in question being this guy right here. Okay, moving on, we've got an Ampharos that's from Dragon Frontiers. The hollow on that one is insane, man. Absolutely gorgeous. That one radiates. My word choice today is so sophisticated. I feel like all these cards are so handsome. Holland Phantoms, I did not collect a ton of, but I did notice that I had a lot of like reverses from Holland Phantoms throughout this. Same with Delta Species. I didn't really collect that much Delta Species, but they're making an appearance here. Get another EX Team Rocket Returns. That one looks like it's not mint. Some of the other ones were mint because I did pull them from packs. Random Japanese one in here. So I don't know where I got that. This is so random. What are these doing here? I don't know. Oh, I love this. <laughs> oh, look at little mijito. Oh, guys, guys, we got Growlithe and Togepi. Look at how cute. Why am I so geeked about the, I mean, like it's very obvious why I'm geeked about those, but you know what I mean. So this is a whole line of reverses. These ones are definitely commons. Very old, oh my gosh. These are first edition ones too. I think that's probably why, cause these are all rares but they're Japanese Expedition. I think those are Expedition base first edition cards. We got a Typhlosion, Magneton, and a Tyranitar. Here's a couple of Togepi, Togetic situations. And then I think at this point in the binder, I was just kind of shoving stuff wherever it fit because it looked like I pretty much filled this guy out. This was a, this was a thick boy. All right, so we've got an adorable Pichu. We've got that in Japanese as well as the Pikachu from that exact same set. Oh, wow. Some very, very old ones from Sky Ridge, Sandstorm. That one I think is Sapphire, Ruby or something. What set is that? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to look that up. All of, oh my God, all of the, this whole row is just mwah. Gourmet, okay. Got a Lediba, adorable. So yeah, to finish off this binder, looks like we've got a chunk of reverses here. We've got some holographic cards. So these ones are all from EX series. So these sets, I think, ran from 2002 to 2006, roughly, maybe 2007. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, God. 
god. Yo. Wait, I just dropped this bomb on the last page. We've got a very, very cool Japanese Alakazam from Team Rocket. We've got a Togetic from Neo Genesis. This, somebody sent me in the mail and I never successfully figured out what it was. I think they literally took the holographic, they took like the actual card uh, design off of the card itself. I, mean, I actually don't even, whatever, but somebody sent me that in the mail. So that's in here too. I thought it was kind of fun. But drawing our attention to this middle row, we've also got a Blastoise holographic from Crystal Guardians, ladies and gentlemen. Crystal Guardians, Blastoise, Delta Species. That is a beautiful, beautiful card. Dude, the design on these ones is so weird. The hollow was on the actual Pokemon itself. It wasn't in the background. <laughs> <laughs> These are so strange, but I love them. I love it, I love it. So a couple of more EX series cards to finish it up. And then we've got a card from, is that Platinum Arceus? The Frostlass from Platinum Arceus and a Nido King from HS Triumphant. Guys, what a binder. Let me tell you, when I say I am actually losing my mind right now, one, because of the nostalgia, but two, because Pokemon cards, the, the value of these cards is getting honestly a bit overwhelming. As a, a collector who has been collecting vintage cards for a long time, but this was very, very cool. I hope this was a trip down memory lane for you guys as well. I'm gonna go ahead, this is one like one last quick glance at what we got. Let me know what your favorite card that we showed off today was, cause there is so much old school vintage goodies in here. I'm happy that I've, you know, been collecting all of these over the years and that I can share them with you because I feel like this brings joy to me and I'm really hoping that it brings joy to you as well. So I didn't realize the extent of my Pokemon card collecting. Looking back at it, I feel like that's kind of excessive. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please, please consider dropping a like and subscribing to our channel. We make new Pokemon videos three times a week. We stream four times a week and we are super duper cool seven days a week. A a. <laughs> but thank you guys so, so much for kicking it with me on this fine, fine day and we will see you guys next time. Bye.